What is your diagnosis on why mages are taking over bot lane? I don't really understand the question. I'm gonna be honest with you. And what I mean by that is, if I go sort by pick rates, there are no mages that are being frequently picked in bot lane for the average player. And then if I go to, you know, Grandmaster Plus, we'll see what it's like in high elo, right? Um, there are also no mages that are being frequently picked in the average game. Now, are some mages exist? Yes, Seraphine exists, Ziggs exists. They have real pick rates. So there are mages in bot lane that have real pick rates. And if you go sort by their win rates, you'll notice that some of them, all of them tend to be very high. And so if the question is, do you think mages are overpowered in bot lane? That's maybe a different question. But if the question is, are mages taking over bot lane? I don't really under, I don't necessarily see that happening. Um, but again, if the question is actually not they're taking over, but more when I see a mage, it's going to be very OP and make me feel useless. I think that's potentially like more of something worth talking about. Um, and I'd say like it's a it's a difficult line because. I would definitely, in a number of situations, expect certain mages to like be able to counter their lane opponents fairly effectively, which would then be represented in high win rates. And so, like as an example, I'm gonna be like, just if Ziggs had a 50% win rate in bot lane, I don't think that would represent Ziggs being balanced. I think that would represent Ziggs being fairly weak, actually, as a bot laner. Um, similarly, by the way, to like. If Jin had a like 49 or 50% win rate, I don't think Jin would be balanced because I would expect a Jin to you know win a little more than that based on like how his kit works and you know his simplicity and like who he might be good against things like that. Um, and so it's like not necessarily a goal that every character in bot lane is the same win rate. And I would expect mages if they were actually viable there to be higher win rates. Um, because mages in a number of ways are going to like be able to, you know, counter some of the people they're against. Whereas if they have the same win rates as a number of 80 carries, given how, you know, relatively less popular they are, it probably, in my opinion, would maybe represent them being weak. Um, but that said, there's this question of, well, should mages even be viable in bot lane? Should they be strong down there? Is it fair when you play against a mage? And like, those are reasonable th questions to ask. Those are reasonable things to feel. Um, I think a number of mages can feel fairly oppressive for 80 carries. Because, you know, especially early in the game, you know, you're getting poked out from outside of your range. It feels like there's not a lot you can do. Nowadays, it's much harder to burst people down, which, like, you know, helps AD carries from getting bursted by a mage. But it also means that, like, if there's this guy outside of your range poking you, like, one of the things that tends to make that fair is you chose Leona and you engaged on them and killed them, right? Which is potentially not as viable as well. So... Are mages in the best feeling spot to play against in bot lane? I could definitely see the argument that like they maybe feel unfair right now. I could definitely see that. But um, but it seems like despite all that, like you're still just seeing almost exclusively 80 carries across all in Mars. Um, and I would say another thing to think about that's important is just because you have a high win rate in a lane does not mean you are the best person to play in that lane. Um, so one thing I'll often see is like, since there are you know very few AD carries in the top win rates in bot lane, that means that they're just not good. And like, that could be true. Um, but like, as an example of this, I would say Kaisa, in many iterations of her at a lower win rate is legitimately more powerful than other characters with a higher win rate than her. Like there are many, I, I argue legitimately that there are many metas where a Kaisa at 49 is stronger than say a Jinx at 51. Not always the case, right? But like, you know, depending on the character and their kit and their versatility and how many team comps you can put them into and their ability to react to bad things that happen to them and their ability to be piloted in ways that cause them not to fail things like that 
legitimately lower win rate characters can be legitimately stronger than higher win rate characters, depending on the kits and the situations and stuff like that. Anyways, I don't know. It's a complicated, complicated sec uh, question, I suppose. Um, and obviously, I'm not working right now, and I'm not as up to date. But I will say that, like, at the end of the day, a lot of mages do seem to be relatively like less popular in bot lane, so you're not seeing them a lot. But like in top, when you run into a ranged character, it could very well be the case that in bot, when you run into a mage, it can be like fairly frustrating and feel like you don't have a lot of things you can do. Um, a possible answer to that is perhaps AD carry is, as a class should have more health regen. So one of the things we did in 8.11, this is the patch that made mages viable in bot lane. Um, one of, the, one of the approaches to making that true was lowering AD carry health regen. And the reason that helps is that mages are mana gated, and so if they can't poke out your health bar in a certain amount of spells, then like they're a lot worse, right? And so by lowering health regen, it makes every individual spell that a mage hits with you with like you know all that much more important. And so, if mages in bot lane were a problem, that's an if. I'm not saying it's true because again, I'm like I'm on vacation. I don't know. Um, a potential way you could do that is globally buff AD carry health regen, just across the board. Now, that could have other negative effects, of course. Number one, AD carries just as a class become stronger, that might be dangerous. Number two, maybe certain AD carries start taking over mid lane or top lane again. Like, one of the reasons that AD carries were so strong in mid lane at the start of this, you know, uh, earlier in this year was like, they actually just had a lot of health that they were constantly getting back from different systemic effects and things like that, which PS and mid lane made it so mages couldn't poke them out, things like that. So it's not necessarily a perfect solution or one that would ha not have like negative consequences, but like it would be something that would you know help them against mages if mages felt like unassailable. Don't let the bath overflow. Don't worry. I have set a timer. I have learned because one time I ran a bath during work when I was working from home because I was like I'm tired. I'm gonna go take a bath at lunch, and then I got in a meeting and I forgot about it and. An hour later, my neighbor is hammering on my door, and my bath had overflown and flooded, you know, through the floor into his ceiling, and so his bathroom ceiling was leaking, uh, and, uh, uh, <laughs> fun fact, um, yeah, I, I had to take care of getting all that fixed, and it was pretty rough, and sucked for him, and sucked for me, and uh, never again. So now I set timers for when I run a bath and make sure. Because normally uh, my bath has an overflow, and it used to be that the overflow was enough to drain it so it wouldn't ever overflow when you were filling it. For those of you who don't know, some bathtubs, like if you fill them too much, they have a drain at the top that'll just make sure it doesn't overflow. But then a plumber installed a new overflow that does not drain the bath faster than it fills up. And so I wasn't aware of that. And I learned the hard way when my neighbor had a waterfall coming through his ceiling. <laughs> so that felt pretty bad. Um, and yeah, now I set a timer. I got my fancy, my fancy clock to make sure nothing bad happens to the bathroom.